How baseball was created. Baseball, often called America's pastime, has a rich history that traces back to the early 19th century. The game evolved from a British sport known as rounders. Rounders involved hitting a ball and running around bases, much like baseball, but with simpler rules and a larger, softer ball. This game, popular in England, was brought to North America by early settlers and gradually evolved into the sport we know today. In 1845, Alexander Cartwright of New York played a crucial role in shaping modern baseball. He formalized the rules, which distinguished baseball from rounders by introducing a smaller, harder ball and a more structured field layout. Cartwright's rules laid the foundation for baseball's standard regulations, setting the stage for its rapid growth in popularity. By the turn of the 20th century, baseball had established itself as a major sport in the United States. Initially, the baseballs used had a round rubber core, but in 1910, this was replaced by a livelier cork-centered ball. This new design increased the ball's resilience and improved the game's dynamics. Two decades later, the cushioned cork model was introduced, providing even more consistency in performance. One notable modification occurred in 1974, when a shortage of horsehide led manufacturers to switch to cowhide covers. This change was necessary due to a decrease in the horse population, which made horsehide scarce and expensive. Raw materials. A baseball consists of three primary components, the core, often referred to as the pill, the windings, and the outer covering. Each component plays a critical role in the ball's performance, durability, and overall feel. The core, pill. At the heart of a baseball is the pill, a small sphere made of cork and rubber. The pill measures 13 16 of an inch, 2.06 centimeters in diameter, and is encased in two layers of rubber, a black inner layer and a red outer layer. These layers are meticulously crafted to ensure the pill is perfectly round and resilient. The black inner layer consists of two hemispheric shells joined by red rubber washers. This construction provides the necessary hardness and elasticity. Windings. Surrounding the pill are four distinct layers of yarn windings, which help maintain the ball's shape and add to its resilience. The first wool layer is the thickest, bringing the unfinished ball's circumference to 7 to 3 4 inches, 19.68 centimeter. Each subsequent layer increases the ball's circumference until it reaches the standard size of approximately 9 inches, 22.86 centimeter. Wool is chosen for its natural resilience and ability to return to its original shape after being compressed, ensuring the baseball retains its perfect roundness despite repeated impacts. Outer Cover The outer cover of a baseball is made from number one grade, alum tanned full grain cowhide. This high quality leather is primarily sourced from Midwest Holstein cattle, known for their superior grain and smooth texture. The cover must be white and is stitched together with 88 inches, 223.50 centimeters of waxed red thread. Before being used, cow hides undergo rigorous testing for thickness, grain strength, tensile strength, and other factors to ensure they meet Major League Baseball's strict standards. Manufacturing Process The manufacturing of a baseball is a meticulous process that involves molding rubber, winding fabric, and sewing cowhide under carefully controlled conditions. This ensures that each ball meets the exacting standards required for professional play. Molding rubber. The process begins with the creation of the pill. Two hemispheric black rubber shells, each approximately 516 of an inch, 39 centimeters thick, are molded around a rubberized cork sphere measuring 1316 inch, 2.06 centimeters, in diameter. The small openings between these shells are sealed with red rubber gaskets. A thin layer of cement is applied to the pill to help secure the wool yarn during the winding process. Winding fabric. Wool yarn, 
stored under controlled conditions, is wound around the pill by computerized machines that maintain high tension to eliminate soft spots and create a uniform surface. The wool yarn is wound in three layers. The first layer consists of 121 yards, 110.6 meters, of four-ply gray yarn. The second layer has 45 yards, 41.13 meters, of three-ply white yarn. And the third layer comprises 53 yards, 48.44 meters, of three-ply gray yarn. A final layer of 150 yards, 137.1 meters, of fine poly cotton finishing yarn is then wrapped around the ball to protect the wool yarn and hold it in place. The wound ball is trimmed of excess fabric and dipped in an adhesive solution to prepare for the outer cover. Sewing. Hide. The cowhide covering is cut into two figure eight patterns, each covering half of the wound ball. These patterns are dampened to increase pliability and coated with adhesive on the inside. They are stapled to the wound ball and hand sewn together using 88 inches, 223.82 meters, of waxed red thread. The sewing process involves 108 stitches, with the first and last stitches completely hidden. This hand sewing process takes an average of 13 to 14 minutes per baseball. After stitching, the staples are removed and the ball is inspected. It is then placed in a rolling machine for 15 seconds to level any raised stitches, ensuring a smooth, uniform surface. The baseballs are then measured, weighed, and graded for appearance. Acceptable baseballs are stamped with the manufacturer's trademark and league designation. Quality control. Quality control is a critical aspect of baseball manufacturing. Each shipment of baseballs undergoes rigorous testing to ensure they meet Major League Baseball standards. The key test is the coefficient of restitution, COR, which measures the ball's resiliency. The COR test involves shooting a baseball from an air cannon at a velocity of 85 feet per second, 25.90 meters per second, at a wooden wall from a distance of 8 feet, 2.43 meters. The speed with which the ball rebounds off the wall is measured. Major League Baseball specifications stipulate that a baseball must rebound at 54.6% of the initial velocity, plus or minus 3.2%. This test ensures that the baseballs have the proper amount of liveliness and are neither too dead nor too bouncy. This test simulates the wear and tear a baseball undergoes during a game. To prove their strength, Baseballs must distort less than 0.08 inch .20 when compressed between two anvils. These stringent tests ensure that every baseball used in Major League games meets the highest standards of performance and durability. Baseball has long been celebrated as more than just a sport in the United States. It is an integral part of American culture and history. Mark Twain, the famous American writer, once described baseball as the very symbol, the outward and visible expression of the drive and push and rush and struggle of the raging, tearing, booming 19th century. This sentiment captures the spirit of baseball and its significance during a transformative period in American history. In the 19th century, baseball emerged as a favorite American sport because it was faster paced and more physical than its English predecessors, such as cricket, town ball, and rounders. Although cricket was played wherever English immigrants settled in the United States, Americans seemed to prefer the more aggressive nature of baseball. Initially played by gentlemen in fashionable clothing, the game and its equipment began to change once formal rules were written down in the 1840s. The game's popularity surged after the Civil War, becoming a unifying force in a nation healing from conflict. During this time, the baseball itself underwent several changes. The first baseballs used were too lively, often leading to scores that exceeded 100 runs. To address this, a less lively ball was introduced, but it proved too dead, as evidenced by a scoreless 24-inning game that convinced many that hitters were at a disadvantage. These experiments with the baseball's design were crucial in finding the right balance for the game's integrity and enjoyment. The marketing and mass production of baseballs played a crucial role in the sport's growth 
and the establishment of its enduring legacy. That's all the information that we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.